So I've covered a handful of disturbing movies on my channel, but I'm still very much a rookie in terms of my viewing history. And apparently, it's worse than I thought. This has been sent to me multiple times. A disturbing movie iceberg. The lower you go, the more disturbing the movie. I think if you look at the titles, it illustrates it quite well. For example, at the top, you have Friday the 13th. And at the bottom, we have Fetus Mantras Volume 1 and 2. I'm assuming that's not a metaphor. Quick shout out to Wendy Goon as well. He has a video where he recently covered this, and a few people mentioned him when they sent this to me as well. Now, I don't want to go through every movie. I just want to prod around a bit. I want to let my morbid curiosity take the wheel. So if I can watch a snippet of something, we'll watch it. Well, I'll watch it. You probably won't be able to see much. If I can only check out images, then I'll just check out images. Now I'm fairly familiar with the first three levels. I'm assuming you are too, you sick fuck. We can sail past those. And even though in the fourth level, I recognize August Underground and Necromantic, some of these other titles did pique my curiosity. Life and death of a porno gang. I'm in. So I quickly skimmed around this movie surrounding a pack of traveling sex performers. And after a few clicks, I was greeted with a horse cock. And no, I am not referring to a well-endowed man. I am literally referring to a horse's meat mallet, sea brisket. And not only that, there was a man dressed up as a woman beginning to perform fellatio on said hammer. And thankfully it was cut off very, very early. But either way, you can record that? and sell it? Where was this made? Serbia. Oh. Two year anniversary. IMDB describes this as today's sponsor. It's been two years since Raid Shadow Legends has launched. That means you've had two years of ads. Been working out that thumb. <laughs> Raid threw me a Q&A, let's do it. If you could date any champion in the game, who would it be and why? You see, that's tough, because if you look at the High Elves faction, you got dumb trucks left and right. You got a stallion like Belinor, who has a really unique character design and a great overkill move that doesn't waste surplus damage on low HP enemies. That matters a lot. But I'd go with Eris because she looks the most like Belle Delphine. Where's your favorite place to play the game? I really like to play Raid on my poker table, specifically on camera because it helps me justify it as a write-off. Raid is going to have six straight weeks of anniversary events and tournaments running from March 1st to the middle of April with plenty of banana crazy prizes. And they're also releasing the first champion in the Shadowkin faction which gives me half chubs like none other. So if you would like to get a huge head start in Raid, click that link in my description or scan my QR code. It's been on screen the whole time. You just noticed? Yeah, QR code is the thing now. I don't know. And when you do, you'll get your free epic champion, Jotun, who is definitely overcompensating. 100k silver, 50 gems, and the three ancient shards to summon dope champions as soon as you get going. All this treasure will be located here, right here, right here. And thank you, Raid, for two years of mortgage. Slow Torture Puke Chamber. I don't like puke, but damn it if this isn't a great title. Sounds like an event at WrestleMania. I also later learned that this movie is the finale of the Vomit Gore Trilogy. What am I doing with my life? The movie begins with an audio disclaimer from the main actress reassuring us that she agreed to partake in everything you are about to see, that she had a safe word if she was ever too uncomfortable, and that basically don't send the FBI to the director's door. Then there are two more warning slash disclaimers, and if that doesn't get the most degenerate part of your brain jumping, I don't know what will. I also skimmed through this movie, but considering there's not really a story here, I basically watched the movie. To fill you in, IMDb's description is a bulimic prostitute. Hey, what did the pirates say to the bulimic prostitute? Heave! Ho! A bulimic prostitute talks about her deranged childhood while being sexually tortured, which, yeah, that sounds about right. So with that information, I'm guessing you were curious as to what I saw. Well, in that case, strap in and switch to headphones. The director's name is Lucifer Valentine, which I would venture to guess is a pseudonym. Otherwise, he was born with a villainous porn star name, and he's right where he should be. While watching the beginning of this movie, I actually thought the director was Clefable, because this woman gets double slapped to the fucking Shadow Realm. That's like the whole intro is just her getting molly whopped some other stuff that happens in the movie she diddles with a crucifix 
very original. She takes down her own piss. Ultra filtered blood plasma. There's a lot of fake blood everywhere that she often ingests, and that's usually followed up with a lot of vomiting and dry heaves. It's basically like a more sexy McCanny Manor. That's it. Oh, and a guy eats a baby. It looks like a bloody gummy bear prop. It's probably the stupidest shit I saw in the whole film. And I watched her drink her own piss. And in fairness to the director, I technically did not watch the film. But whatever art label you wanna slap on this, if you do, this is filth. And there's a demographic for it, congrats. Let's move down a level. Girl Hell 1999 sounds Interesting. I mean, you throw in some underscores and it sounds like the random who would always bottom frag. You have my dick in your ass. I managed to skim this one as well. And yeah, I think life and death of a porno gang was the first and the last film to seem interesting. Although this one could make for a great review because the movie's fucked, but it's so soap opera-esque with random comedic elements that keep it lighthearted still. But if I'm being honest, this just seems like fetish porn at the end of the day. Like the director thought, I really want to masturbate to stuff like this, but I can't quite find that exact flavor online. So I'm just gonna make it. There's a girl who has a paralyzed sister who gets her back blown out more by her dad. That same girl slurps down some hobo's breast milk. It's straight from the teat, so just like the hobo, it's not spoiled. And some rich guy beer bongs her piss through a catheter. I don't think you need any more detail than that. I'm honestly surprised this title is as low as it is. I mean, I know this was just a Reddit post by like one dude, so this isn't the end all be all, but maybe this list more so has ordered these by disturbing factor along with obscurity. I don't know what to expect. The Taming of Rebecca. Funny enough, it was rather easy to find this movie because it's just on hella porn sites. Free to watch because it's porn. <laughs> and you might think dope. Nah, I was only able to find it in this crickety, crackly 240p from one of those cameras that you probably used to crank and shit. I don't know. And this one's weird. Within the first three minutes, they're just playing the Halloween theme. So I'm not really sure of the legality surrounding this because it's just, it's just like straight up copyright infringement right away. And they cut the song off and then they get to this forced incest moment about a minute later and it just starts playing again. And unfortunately, I can't show you it, but this naked dad is just sitting there like, come on, where's my daughter? A little Slut. Come here, why do you think I made you? So you can suck me. And the whole time it's just like dun, 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 dun. I don't know whose idea that was. I appreciate it though. And this forced incest moment, as I have so eloquently described it as, it's supposed to be this traumatic abuse flashback, but it's played out and filmed like regular ass porn. Like she's recounting this crying. But if you sent me this without the scene of her talking about it to begin with, I would just think this is your run of the mill vintage porn that was ahead of its time. And I thought there'd be more than that until I was sitting there thinking, when the fuck is this flashback gonna end? So after I watch Pappy give her a pap with his mouth for like three minutes. He starts to be a bit abusive, smacking the booty a bit, and it starts to be played out in a darker tone now, right? And then it just goes back to regular ass porn after that. Wait, so you're telling me that that movie on X Hamster was a porno? I'm starting to slowly dislike this list. I think because I don't understand the organization really. And I mean, sure, at the end of this movie, it starts to get a bit gruesome, but only a bit. And yes, there's a lot of written in Snape, but when you're at neckbeard level, that's a fucking given. So I don't know how to feel right now. Let's. Move down another level. Banned from television is basically Live Leak before there was Live Leak. Looking at some of the other titles here, that seems to be the theme for this level. And yeah, something like this is interesting to watch, but I've always considered it as a bit of an outlier in terms of disturbing movies. I think any documentary-like or real brutal footage compilations should just be in their own ranking. Like if I ask for a disturbing movie suggestion, you're not gonna be like, oh, watch Faces of Death. Nobody says that. Like it makes sense in the iceberg context, so I get why it's here, but considering this entire level just seems to be that, I hope that's not all that's left. Just live leak, best score, and degenerate porn shit. I mean, I guess I can tell you a bit from what I saw in Band from Television. There was a circus elephant that went rogue. He started stomping on trainers, all while cute little clown music is playing in the background. But yeah, weird that that wild elephant wasn't too fond of wearing a vest and doing barrel rolls for peanuts or whatever the fuck they do. It's just a bunch of real world events. We don't really need to hang on this one. Another level down we go.
I'm going to be on a fucking list after searching some of these titles, but we're here, I guess. The Motel Files and Other Random Cuts is just... I saw the trailer, I think? It has expansion packs like it's the fucking Sims. It literally just looks like edgy neo-Nazis fucking in a ratty motel. And ooh, they have piercings. And ooh, they have ski mask. And ooh, this one girl vomits. Why is this in the list? Is this level just gonna be based porn? Channel 309 confirms my suspicions. I dug into this one and I couldn't find a free watch and I'm sure as hell not gonna support it, but from what I'm told and what I see, uh, this is dark ritualistic hardcore porn, or as they would call it, art. I mean, that's how I'm describing it. You can read this bloated ass tidbit that they wrote. I went through multiple photos of the film on their website and this title went out the window as soon as I saw someone's shitty ass booty winking at me. Borderline pornography. <laughs> That's fucking rich. Although in all fairness, I still haven't seen it, so I could- No Vaseline, the great porn swindle. Rest assured, this has nothing to do with infamous diss track No Vaseline by Ice Cube. That would be too graphic. All this shit just seems to be a another DLC of the other. It's just fucking Dejenny's gathering, banging, and pissing. I'm going down to the final level. Wish me luck. Snuff R73. Now from the little I was able to find, and this is banking on a lot of testimony, this seems to be an actual snuff film that was just released on the dark web. So, fuck that. Fubar. I found dick all in this, unless it's literally talking about this movie, which I really hope it is. But after a bit more digging for fetus munchers, ogrish collection, these all seem to be just more mixtapes. So compilations of the worst of the worst at a smaller scale. So they just allow for the complete disregard of mainstream appeal. It's like if Faces of Death was buffed and nerfed at the same time. And once again, simply through testimonials, it just seems to be more motel file shit. So picture your two girls, one cup, four girls, finger painting, one guy, one jar, one guy, one hammer, two guys, one hammer, whatever the fuck it is. Just filth. And that's honestly as far as I'm gonna dig uh, into that. I was extremely uncomfortable searching the bottom titles, and I want to clear up that I am not urging any of you to do the same. Very uncomfortable rabbit holes and a bunch of pages that look like they were just busting malware all in my shit. Realistically, at least for my taste, in terms of watching, the sixth level down seems to be the last tolerable one. But considering the overwhelming majority of it are just real life mixtapes or documentaries, the fifth level down would be the last salvageable one in terms of potential reviews on this channel. So an interesting iceberg, but nonetheless, if I have to obsessively snoop around, twist and turn, and maybe even access the dark web to watch any of these titles that are probably just as sickening or fucking boring as some of the more accessible trash i'm good so after all that uh i'm gonna go shower and watch just friends to cleanse my body and my brain and most importantly my eyes Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Here is your second reminder to please leave a like. Please subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Shout out to my lovely, 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 lovely patrons for supporting the boy. Hey, you like disturbing movies and shit? I got plenty of other shit I review on the channel. Also, my Patreon, I recently reviewed ABCs of Death. Two, a disturbing anthology. Shout out to Abby the Bird for retweeting my last video tweet. Please subscribe to Mr. Gigi Live. Please subscribe to Mr. Gigi Live. And as always, I am Mr. Gigi, and I am out.